Well, it is a late night and I'm working on my ONAN generator. As, the reason I'm doing this, earlier today I changed the oil and when I came in here to start it up to get everything warmed up before I drained the oil, it just sounded loud to me while I uh, tapping, like they had ex excessive valve clearance. And I looked at the factory repair manual and checked to see how, how many hours they recommended to adjust the valves and I think they said 450. And oh, by the way, this this is a Onan 5500 series. So the, the manual said at about 450 hours you should adjust your valves, and I think I'm sitting about 388, I believe. So I figured it's a good time to at least check them. So I pulled this one valve cover off, just takes a 10 millimeter socket, popped it off, and when I did, I was surprised because I'm instead of sitting at 4 thousandths clearance, I'm sitting on 10 thousandths clearance. So they they are quite, quite loose. And one bad thing that can happen if you get excessive clearance, eventually if you get a whole lot, these push rods can sometimes jump off and they get bent. There's a scenario where the valve could hit the piston, just all kinds of bad stuff can happen. Of course you'd be running on one cylinder and have no power. So now I know I got to adjust the valves. Uh, and to get to, to the other one, the other cylinder head, the other valves is on the, behind the air filter box. So, I'm going to take their filter box off and see what's involved with that and uh, see what they look like on the other side. Okay, the cover's simple enough to get off. It only takes a 10 millimeter socket. You got uh, two screws, two nuts to take off, and that cover comes out. Alright, now we can get the things a little bit better. So here's my other valve cover. Uh, 10 millimeter sh screws, I'll take those off. I'll check this clearance and uh, get them adjusted something i'm just looking around checking things out make sure these rubbers look good that they're not cracked and actually that one is cracked a little bit it's going to get worse and so i'll probably order yeah it's really getting cracked up all, all the way around so i'm going to order one of those because that cracks that's that's your uh, pvc valve that, that runs the oil vapors back through the air box and through the carburetor so I'll order this part, and of course I gotta order new gaskets. I'll put in new spark plugs while I'm at it. Uh, well, I've got this going. This is something I did in the past. You'll see here, there's no fuel filter. They had a problem at one time, I'm trying to go by memory. They had like a, a, a weird fuel fi filter and a fitting sitting here, and the weight of it, with the vibration, the way these things shake and vibrate, they would sometimes break. So I eliminated the fuel filter here, just got me some brass fittings, uh, a barbed coupler here, and I put one of these crimp-on connectors so it won't come loose like you have like a little spiral clamp. Sometimes they can loosen up on you because that's the last thing you want is a fuel leak back here and anywhere on around a generator like this. Um, and when I, then I went under and added another fuel filter to the bottom side. There it is. I added one that's kind of see-through so I could see it. And then there's the uh, factory filter. No, no, pardon me, that's not the factory filter, that's the fuel pump. There's fuel pump, and that's the filter I added. So I moved it from the carburetor, hanging from the carburetor to putting it before the fuel pump. Got that done. Okay, another tip for, you know, because you gotta get these, the, the valves in a certain location when you're adjusting them, there's a hole up under here, you see that hole? Take a little plastic plug loose, this thing right here, pop it out, take you a ratchet with an extension, and it takes a 5.8 socket, you get your 5 socket on there and you stick it in there and then you, you rotate it and that ro rotates the engine around and so that way you can um, get it in position you got to have certain valves compressed or a certain thing I'll, I'll talk about that here in a second once I get this other cover off oh yeah and a tip when you after you crack these loose before you drop the cover off they hold quite a, quite a bit of oil so get you some rags and have them stuffed under here ready to catch that oil so it doesn't run all over the play, all over everywhere. Like like I did, got this, it caught all that oil for me. Keeps from making such a mess. Okay, to the adjusting process. Okay, remember I talked about you get your 5.8 socket, put it up in here in the hole. There's a big bolt under there. So now you need to crank this. The way they want you to adjust these, this top, this one right here, that's your intake. There's your exhaust. Same over here, there's your intake on top, exhaust on the bottom. So to adjust the valves, get both cap valve covers off, you want to crank the flywheel, watch your intake valve when it's at what they call maximum lift. 
So let me hold the camera a little bit better. Okay, there's the exhaust just trip I'm coming around. Okay, intake should start to trip. Any day now. Okay, there she goes. Alright, so that maximum lift, there it is. That's right, so back to lift here. Okay, so when this valve is pushed all the way down at maximum lift on one side, that's when you want they want you to adjust the other side. So they know you got plenty of slot. And I just checked it, this one's like eleven thousandths. So I gotta adjust it down to four thousandths. Make sure you do this when the engine is cold also. Um because you get a bad reading if you do it while it's warm. And what you need here is a 10 and a 14 millimeter, I believe. Let me check that and make sure you... Yeah, like a 10 millimeter and a 14 millimeter. Loosen that up. Let's get the clearance, not a, a little bit of a drag on, on 4,000s. And then you crank it over, do, do, do just the same thing. When this is a maximum lift, then you do this side. Then the same way with the, with the exhaust go back and forth and get them all adjusted so that's what I'll do now okay well there's no way I can show you the, the adjusting process with because it takes two hands because you gotta use a 14 millimeter wrench to hold this nut and use a 10 millimeter 10 millimeter there we go and, and jam the two together it may take a couple tries to get it just right because it just got a slight drag and you can see how the um, See the rock arm just barely wiggles back and forth. I got just a little bit of a drag, so it's sitting at 4,000 just right. So now I'll crank the engine over. I'll let this one spring compress when it's compressed all the way down. Then I know to go over and adjust this one. So pretty simple process. Okay, uh, valves all adjusted. Everything's in good shape. Now I just gotta wait on my new gaskets to arrive and I'll put it back together. Of course I'm leaving the spark plugs out just in case someone comes along, tries to start the generator and you know, be sure don't want that to happen, blow oil all over the place. That would make for a bad day. And but I was gonna mention to you, if to get to this spark plug, this one here is not so bad, but on this side it's really tight. Because the spark plug's not in there now. But the spark plug, the socket it takes was a 13 16 so 3H drive, but you can get it in there and get it on the socket, but you still don't have room for a ratchet. So what I did, once I get it on there, I got my pair of channel locks. Get your channel locks up in there and give it a little twist, break it loose, and it comes out just fine. And the spark plug, if you need new spark plugs for this particular one, there's NGK. Golly, I can't see it. Well, maybe you can. Mine ain't good enough. There it goes. Oh, there, there's, no, there's the numbers. Golly, I gotta get, give me some glasses because I can't read those numbers. Maybe you can. But I'm gonna get some new plugs for it too. These plugs are original and about 388 hours on them. That's what they look like. This is, uh, was built in 2005. So, uh, not, not a whole lot of hours, I guess, for that length of time. So I guess that's all I got to say about this little project. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Leave a comment if you would, if this helps you out. Have yourself a great night or a great day, whatever time it is you're watching this thing. See ya. Bye.